we're back with a video and it's the end of July. I know I say it every month. I'm sure you're just tired of hearing it, but it just seems like the summer is flying by. Um, it's already the end of July and oh, there's Jaden throwing everything off the bed. Uh, first of all, excuse my mess. Um, as you can see, uh, yeah, mama needs to clean up. What is going on with this chair? Anyway, um, so yeah, end of July, which means it's time for my monthly favorites. So I have a lot of makeup products to get through, and I also have some beauty products, as well as like a wild card kind of thing that is mention worthy. So let's just get started. Let's start off with my favorite, the makeup products. So couple things that I have just absolutely fallen in love with this month. Some products are new, some are some old things that I've had for a few months that I've kind of dug up and just fallen in love with all over again. So, first thing I'm going to get started with is this nail polish. Now, I posted a picture on my Instagram. Uh, if you don't follow me, link is in the banner. Go ahead and follow me so you can see my pictures because I post uh, like a maniac. So, yeah. Um, a lot of things also that I reference in my videos are over on my Instagram page well before the video comes out. So, check that out. Um, this nail polish by Bonnie Bell, it is in the shade Key West. Okay, it is this beautiful purple color. And like I said on my Instagram, I posted a picture. Uh, I did um, my nails in this color along with an accent nail. Another shade by Bonnie Bell in the shade French Quarter, which is this pretty... Um, kind of nudie shade with like gold specks in it. So I did an accent nail in this color and then the rest of my nails were this beautiful purple color. Now this purple color I was trying to hold off until fall because I kind of feel like it's a more fall color but I just couldn't resist because I love purple <laughs> and it's just a beautiful shade. So absolutely have been loving this shade. I really do like these um, nail lacquers by Barney Bell because they just last a while. I think I had this, these, you know, this little look um, from Bonnie Bell on for about almost two weeks, um, and it didn't really chip at all. It was beautiful. I think I only had to apply one, maybe two coats, just because I'm used to post, you know, putting on two coats. I did do two coats, but you could really definitely get away with one. Good stuff. Head on over to, you know, your drugstore. I don't know where. I know I found Bonnie Bell at Harmons. Um, I'm sure they have it at Walmart, Walgreens, etc. So go ahead and keep your eyes open for these girls. Absolutely love their new polishes. So been loving that. Um, next thing, next makeup product that I have been loving is, it's nothing new, it's by Bobbi Brown. It is the Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free with the SPF 15. I'm in the shade medium. Absolutely love this stuff. Um, it is moisturizing. <laughs> I don't know where I, what I was thinking about, but um, it's not like a BB cream or anything. It's just simply a tinted moisturizer. Love it because it's got the SPF 15, so it's not, uh, you know, um, extremely uh, heavy on the SPF to the point where your photos give off a white cast. Um, for days where I haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup because it's been too hot, <laughs> I've kind of just thrown this on and maybe a little bit, bit of BB cream, but you could definitely get away with this on its own. It's good stuff. Absolutely been loving my Bobbi Brown Tinted Moisturizer. Next thing that I have been loving, since we're on the face, let's just get right into it. I did a demo, first impressions review on the Garnier BB Creams. And here they are. I have two of them. There's a couple different formulations out. They have one for oily uh, combo skin and then they have one for uh, anti-aging blah blah blah. Both of these have an SPF. If you can notice, the packaging is different. This one has like a little twist off cap, which I'll get into a minute, in a minute. And then this one has the little flip up cap, which I prefer. Reason being, this, I have used both of these, okay? This is a little bit dirty, but it's only around there, and that's because I've been using my brush to get some of the product once in a while. But this one, I don't like this twist off cap because if you can tell, okay, look at that. That's supposed to be white around here. It's like all messy and gross and nasty. I've been trying to clean this off with my brush, but no matter what, um, it just seeps out and like gets all over the place and it's kind of nasty, in my opinion. Um, I prefer the flip up cap. <laughs> I don't know 
why they did two different um, containers for these. I really wish that they would have been, you know, just stuck to this one because it seems a lot more practical, cleaner, just better. But the product, um, I don't know if I have a favorite between these two. I've been flip-flopping back and forth, and I absolutely love both of them. They make my skin look flawless, lightweight, full coverage for a BB cream. Just absolutely amazed by these products. Love, love, love. Like I said, I did a first impression demo review kind of thing. I'll link it down below. Check that out if you have it. It's a good one. <laughs> love that product, girls. Okay, next thing that I have absolutely been loving is not new to me. I have um, shown it in a haul before or them in a haul. They are these little blush, blush quads by City Colors. I have the pink skin and then I have my corals. Um, love them. All the pinks that you could ever want. You've got your bright pink over here with like a Barbie pink, which I have been like dipping into on the regular. <laughs> And then you've got, you know, going all the way. This is like a mauve shade. Absolutely love it. I've been doing like the ombre effect for my blushes. I'll do like the darker in the back and then like I'll put like a pop of like the bright um, or like the uh, cooler tone like on the apples of my cheeks. And it just, I don't know how to explain it, but it just gives you just the most gorgeous ombre, fresh face, beautiful effect for summer. So I've been loving that. And also the coral, same thing. It's got your lighter shades. You know, your little pop of just brightness there. Just I've just been loving these things to death. So I think I paid $4 for each at Five Below. So if you have seen these girls and you've been contemplating and you haven't picked them up, pick them up. Absolutely my favorites. Been loving those. Okay, next thing I've been loving beauty-wise is my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer. You've seen it. You've heard it. This is from the studio line. Um, this bronzer has been like giving me life. Every single day I've been using this bronzer. It is just perfection. The blush is eh. It's alright. Um, but I don't really like love it. But the bronzer has me hooked. Like absolutely been loving this bronzer. I think I've been using it every single day. It's good stuff. So, been loving that. Next, a beauty product, and I also did a first impression review thing on this product. It is the Black Smoke Power Volume 24 Hour Mascara by, who you be? By L'Oreal. Thick, tightly wound bristles, very black, matte lashes, girls. Thickening. Um, volume all wrapped up into one little product. Again, I did a review on this. I'll link that also down below. Been loving it. Doesn't clump up. Good for layering. Just amazing mascara. Love it. Next thing that I have been loving. Okay, so we all know I love my Anastasia. Um, <laughs> my, my, my dip brow. Woo! My Anastasia dip brow. I don't know what's wrong with me today, ladies. I love this stuff, but lately I've been, I think for like the summer, I've just been leaning more towards like the natural look. I haven't really done much for my eyes as far as like caking on the colors and getting crazy with my, you know, um, eye looks lately. I've been going for the more natural look. So the brows have been following also. And I have been reaching more and more for my Anastasia Brow Wiz. This Pencil Girls, $19 I think, is just bomb. Okay, double-sided. This spoolie is like magic. I don't know why, but this thing is just amazing. You got your product over here, twist up, very thin tip. Great for getting in and just flicking and just giving you that nice defined outline on the brows. And then this little spoolie bugger dude is just perfect for like going in and blending the product through. I mean, look, flawless. Like they look like mine. Like I woke up like this and we all know I didn't. Because <laughs> I have like barely their brows. I didn't wake up like this. I woke up with this, okay? If you don't know about this brow with girls, get some. Get some. Get one. Sephora, Ulta, wherever. Get you one. Oh, mine is the shade Brunette, if you were wondering. So next thing I've been loving is concealer. Um, yeah, been in love with these two. The first one is the NYX HD Concealer. I have the shade Beige. I've been using this for spot concealing around my face. It is just my color, perfection, lasts all day, creamy, full coverage, just 
Love it. If you don't have it, I highly, highly, highly recommend this concealer. Love it. Next concealer I have been loving since I bought. My nose is itchy. Um, is this Lighten Up Brightly Concealer. And this is by Flower Cosmetics. It's the Drew Barrymore um, line. It's a little brush tip applicator. Twist up. Beautiful. Love it. I just did a full on um, makeup series on my concealers and this was one of them. Creamy. Brightening. Perfect for under the eyes. Doesn't cake up. Crease up smudge it just stays put when you set it it just brightens up I don't have a rag yes I do um wonderful concealer girls absolutely love it I think it was around eight nine dollars perfection highly recommend that been reaching for it every day these two okay next thing is by Mac it's a lipstick in the shade it's a cream sheen and it is hot gossip I don't need to say a darn thing about this it is just the perfect pink shade creamy moisturizing I love the way MAC lipsticks smell it's like heaven sweet candy cookie smell <laughs> um, yeah we all love cookies but I love this pink shade look at that gorgeous okay next thing I've been loving is and this is the last makeup product then we're on to some beauty items and then my wild card onto the computer whatever that's later when I upload. Okay, so I, again, I've been doing the natural look for my eyes lately. Um, I've been going for like a nude lid, a little bit of um, a warmer shade to warm up the crease, and then some liner and lashes. And maybe a pop of color on the lower lash line. But for um, warming up my crease, what I've been running to or reaching for rather every day has been by the Maybelline. Woo, it's Maybelline Expert Wear Shadow. It's a single in the shade Earthly Taupe, number 170S. Mom. Look at that. Beautiful, light, creamy, just, I don't know if you're going to see it swatched on camera. It's like a perfect shade for warming up my crease, girls, just naturally. You can't see that. Mom. What? My password's the computer. There it is. Not right now, babe. Let me finish my video, please. We got a new computer and Jaden's been like hounding me to go on it. So after this video, I'm going to have to put him on it. If he lets me get through my video. <laughs> okay, so again, to warm up the crease, Earthly Taupe. Absolutely love this shade. Next thing that I've been loving, we're going to move on to the beauty products. As Jaden jumps on my bed and makes a spectacle. Next thing I've been loving is for my nails, and it's by Sally Hansen. It's the Maximum Growth Cuticle and Nail Treatment. It looks like this. It's what I've been using to grow out my nails. Um, again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, if you do, you'll know that I've been trying to grow out my stiletto nails. These are all real, and I give props to Sally Hansen for helping with that. I put this on my cuticles daily, and I just rub it in. Um, I usually pop this in my makeup bag, have it with me on hand. Anytime my cuticles or nails feel dry, I put the, this on, and I just smooth it out, and bam, fixed. <laughs> love this stuff I don't remember how much I paid for it maybe six dollars definitely would pay any any amount for this because this stuff is bomb love it next thing that I have been loving um, beauty wise has been by clean and clear it's the deep action exfoliating scrub love this stuff uh, use it every day in the shower just washes everything off gives you that clean cool clean, uh, crisp feeling so love that stuff next uh, okay, this, <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned this, I think I have mentioned it in a video. I'm almost done with this one, I already have bought a backup because I'm in love. It's by Caress, it is the Burnt Brown Sugar and Cowrite Butter Exfoliating Body Wash. Smells bomb. Girls, if you're in the store and you don't know, and you see this, grab it, smell it, you'll know what I'm talking about. Exfoliating, just heaven in a bottle. Next thing I've been loving is a body lotion by Bath & Body Works. It is in the scent Butterfly Flower. And it smells like flowers. Um, who doesn't love a Bath & Body Works uh, lotion, girls? Just been loving that scent. It's not new, but I've been loving it. Next thing by Bath & Body Works also is a body mist. It's a fine fragrance mist in the scent. Beautiful day. Um... Love it. Again, florally, light, 
uh, fresh for summer, spring, just love this stuff. Next thing, um, okay, so my face obviously has been clearing up a little bit, but that's all due to my skincare regimen. I've still been using the apple cider vinegar, which tends to, um, you know, dry out your skin. For that, to combat that problem, I've been using the Michael Todd True Organics Pumpkin Nutrient Rich Facial Mask. It moisturizes and nourishes all skin types except sensitive because it can burn. Love this stuff. Put it on after I clean I clean my face maybe once or twice a week at most leave it on for a few minutes and then just wipe it off uh, love this stuff would definitely recommend that okay is that it that's it okay so now for my wow card okay so for those of you that do know I am a shoe addict <laughs> I love me some shoes um so my wild card is a pair of heels well wedges actually can you all get me those shoes that you threw over there and I absolutely have been loving these shoes. I have them in three different colors. So here they are. And they are these pretty wedges. Oh, what I was saying is I am a brand ambassador for Just Fab, which is Kamora Lee Simmons' um, shoe line. Uh, www.justfab.com. Go ahead and check it out. I will put my link down below where you can get a nice little discount for signing up. Um, so these are the wedges. And like I said, I have them in every color. I have these, I have, as Jaden is going to show you, I have my uh, Coralie Peach looking ones, show them, and then I have the black pair. So again, if you girls love shoes, or if you don't, and, uh, wait a minute, what girl doesn't love shoes? Check out my link below, girls, use my link to sign up, you'll get a nice discount, and yeah, that's it for me and Jaden signing off, I love you, um, please thumbs up this video if you like it, it would help me out, what the subscribe. Heck Oh God. So we got um, geckos. If you didn't know, we got leopard geckos. So that's what Jaden's talking about. That's Zeus right there making his cameo. Say hi Zeus. And Athena is pregnant. She's inside that little Aztec looking head. So they're another one of our favorites, right Jaden? Uh -huh. Our new babies. They're our lizard babies. Okay guys. As I was saying, thumbs up this video if you liked it. Uh, comments down below what you want to see in the next um, series. Um, I'm doing a makeup series. I already did concealers. What do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments below. I love you. Don't forget to thumbs it up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Watch some of my other videos. Check out Jaden's butt, and I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye, girls. Bye.